Welcome to Authentic Walk with God. Today's topic is I know. I'm going to read from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 8 through 12. I read Do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. It has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That is why I am suffering as I am. Yet, this is no cause for shame because I know whom I have believed, and I'm convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day. There is nothing more tragic than wallowing in ignorance and yet refusing to become aware. It is tragic for people to see blindness and yet go into it. In the Bible, Jesus asserts, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He also said, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me, though he may die, he will live again. In other words, death is not the end of a Christian. It is a doorway to God. Writing to his son in the Lord, Timothy Paul affirms that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light by his appearance and through the gospel. He then says, I know three things. One, I know Jesus. I have personally encountered him. I know he is my savior. I know he is my Lord. I know he has done everything necessary to bring about my salvation. I know I do not need anybody or anything else. Secondly, I know he is able. I know he is all powerful. I do not need any other backup. I know that in him I am safe. Though my flesh may die and rot, but my spirit will not experience death, Paul claimed. I know he is sufficient for me. I know he has fought death and has defeated it. I know he is a victor, and so I am. And thirdly, I know with him eternal life is guaranteed, Paul asserted. I have entrusted my soul to him and not to Satan or to his agents. I know I will have no regrets. I know that heaven is real and I will make it because of Jesus Christ. What about you, my brother, my sister? What do you know? What do you know about Jesus and his activities? And where will you go if tomorrow you die? I know some of us will claim that we are 
members of one church or the other, one Christian organization or the other. And so that's enough. And some will claim that they have donated so much money to the church and for missions and evangelism. And some will say, I'm a leader in the church. I have founded this church and, uh, and this ministry and all of that. And some will talk about their own gigantic programs or projects in the church. Some will also say, I know the big people in the church. I know that big man, that big woman, that church mommy or that church daddy. I know them. I know that brother, I know that sister. You see, Paul did not talk about these things. Paul said, I know Jesus personally. I know he is my savior. I have encountered him personally. And he also went ahead to say, I know he is able. He's able to keep that which I have entrusted to his own care. That's my soul. I know he is also powerful. He is all powerful. And in the top place, Paul says, I know with him eternal life is guaranteed. Where will you go if you die tomorrow? If you die now? You see, life is not guaranteed. Life is the hands of the Lord. And he determines when he will call us home. And so, what things constitute your own uh, joy and your own hope if tomorrow, even now, you are asked to come back home. Uh, those of you who are wallowing in sin, those of you who have abandoned uh, your faith, if there's anything like that, or those of you who have not even accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, who are making mockery of Christianity, who are making mockery of Jesus Christ, and who are making mockery of those who serve the Lord. What do you know? If you didn't know Jesus, you don't know anything. And if you don't know him, you have no eternal life, no matter whatever you do. And no matter whatever the organization you belong to, without Jesus, you are doomed. So I ask you today, like Paul, to say, I know Jesus. I give my life to him. If you have not done that, would you please do it now, even where you are listening to my voice? Say, come to my heart, Jesus. Possess me. Be my Lord and Savior. I commit all to you. Guide me, lead me, direct me until I see you face to face. Father, this one that is praying right now, may you receive him or her into your family and empower him or her to speak for you and to present you a right here on earth until the day he or she will see you face to face. In Jesus' name, amen.